Hey, this is a video response to the couple and to a lot of other people who ever wants to hear it about leaving a tip on napkins. Um, and the couple that left a tip on a napkin of a server down in the south of the states and said the woman's place is in the home, that's what the Bible says, and they left a tip and they didn't leave any money. Okay, if you're calling yourselves Christians, read the Bible, actually read it. I got it over there. It's a good book, King James Version. It says, Je Jesus, Yeshua, Son of God, says, Use your mammon to make friends. Use your money to bless people. That's the, the economy, the currency of most people in this world. That's how they value things. So if you're going to leave a little napkin, I'm a server. Okay, I've served uh, food and beverage for a long time, and I don't mind people leaving me little notes. Uh, but if you're a brother or sister in Christ, I hope that you're helping me out financially because we're supposed to share. You're supposed to actually sell everything and give it to the poor. And I can tell you, if someone's serving, they're not rich. Okay, and so share, like Jesus told you, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. I'll tell you about the restaurant industry briefly. It is set up so that uh, we're paid minimum wage as a server, and then basically the tips make up your wage. And you have to tip out to the kitchen and to the bartender. So if you don't get a tip, you still have to tip out to the kitchen and the bartender based on your sales. So please tip. And we're talking, hello, welcome to the year 2016, 20%. Uh, Okay, especially if you're going to talk about that you're following Christ, that you believe in Jesus as the Son of God. Yes, He's the perfect incarnation of God's love. He's forgiven your sins. He's set you free, free to be generous. Okay, and He's reconciled us with God, and He gives us hope that we don't have to be stingy with our money and that we're going to be provided for. Okay, and the early church, if you read the Bible, was sharing. And there was women working in it as well. There was women working with Paul, Prisca, and Aquila, you know, that couple that he was working with. In the Old Testament, you have Proverbs chapter 31 that talks about the ideal woman, and she's a merchant. She's going down to the market. She's selling fabric. She's purchasing fields. She's doing real estate. She's balling. And the thing is, it can work. I have friends that uh, the woman works mainly uh, down at the stores. They own a couple stores, and the man stays home. They have four kids, and it's working well. Okay? So you can leave a note, okay, like this one. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little love on there. But if you come in and leave that with 10%, okay, and then some jerk comes in that's like, ah, oh, sex, drugs, rock and roll, I just want to do this, this and that, and this, and then they're like, ah, oh, hey, man, and they give me 20%. I don't think that guy should be supporting me as much as my brothers and sisters in Christ, okay? And actually, if you look at the early church, they were sharing everything. They had all things in common. They were sharing. They were living communally. And that comes back to raising kids and the home because it takes a village to raise a child. Okay, yes, kids, it's, there's lots of studies that have been done, and there's lots of studies about prison populations and looking at, like, how people turn out, and there's a lot of people in prison that have single-parent house, uh, households. But, like, I'm not saying that it's impossible if you have a single-parent household to, to be successful and stay out of prison, but it's tough. We need a solid mother figure. We need a solid father figure. Adam and Eve, the original humans, that's how it was made, and they would make a they would make a baby, and they would have that those both of those archetypes there. So yes, I I agree with you, but it doesn't have to be this like right wing idea, like right or, or like redneck kind of thing that's been confused with Christianity. A woman's place is in the home, and you just like don't even think about like that you're not loving the people that you're talking to, and that you're you're not even being biblical. Okay, so. Please uh, take into account your scriptures that you're talking about and leave a generous tip, like 20%. If you don't like, if you, you're like broke and you, you don't have enough money to leave a tip, you should not be out at that restaurant. You should probably go to a cheaper restaurant so you can leave a tip. And if you think, I don't like the tip system, well, in Australia, you can go to the restaurant and not leave a tip, but you're going to pay more for your food and drink because... The restaurants there pay their, serv their servers like 25 bucks an hour, living wage. And their kitchen, 25 bucks an hour. So it's six to one, half to the other. So we have it on an honor system over here. Use your mammon, use your riches, your money to make friends. Jesus said, sell everything you have and give it to the poor. Store up treasure in heaven. It's about loving people. And... Yes, we do need solid families, but it's the rich people, some of them calling themselves Christians, on the right and the left, because Christianity is not right or left, it's way above that and beyond that. But there's rich people that are squeezing to make it so that now 
in your economy, most, most people, they have to have two people working in a household. So maybe we should consider a different thing, like not like all the woman fight for you in the home and force somebody to wait in tables to do that. Maybe that's good advice for her. I don't know her situation, but I'll tell you, go back to your Bible. Read about the early church. They shared everything. They had everything in common. It takes a village to raise a child. Like, uh, it sure helps to have some other people so that, you know, they can mind the kids while you're doing this and, you know, vice versa. There's something to think about. Like this whole American ideal right wing, like we all have our own stuff. Is that really Christian? Like, you know, does if there's 10 houses on a block and they each have a little yard, does each one of them need a lawnmower and a shovel? Do they need, like, 10 households need 10 lawnmowers? Or can we share a bit more? Uh, this is something for you to consider. I'm saying this with love. And I've served a lot, and I am a Christian. I believe in Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the perfect incarnation of love of our Creator, our Heavenly Father, and He is sent to, to reconcile us to God. He died for us. His perfect blood paid for our sins. No more sins, no more karma. And we are then to receive that and to receive reconciliation, be reconnected with God and walk holy with Him. That should translate into generosity and sensitivity. So if you're going to leave me a note, okay? And a new type of community, maybe even, hey? Eh? I don't know if you can see that. Let you know you can leave. There's 20% tip. Or more. I love you. And just so you know, one time, the Christian brothers gave me a thousand dollar tip.